Okay, so I think the choice is if you are coming over from Linux to, sorry, from Windows or Mac and you're Lightroom or Capture One user, I think Darktober is your only option. Some people make a play about this because, I mean, raw therapy made no sense. Literally makes no sense to me. And I've done this shit, sorry, I've done this for years. And it, looking at it, it's like trying to learn a new language. And I don't need to do that. I want to do my job. So, I mean, it's like sort of, I want to take a photo, I want to get in and I want to tweak it and I want to make it look good. I'm not sure, if, I mean, Darktable probably could work at professional level. I don't know about the tethering, but apparently it does do the tethering. I think it would be a bit of a learning curve, but I think probably because it's open source, after a, you know, a learning it, and I think working out with the tethering, you could probably use that professionally, probably, he says. I mean, it looks like it's got it all in there. I mean, you don't get the AI toys, okay? That's over. You didn't have them before. I mean, three years ago, we weren't doing anything with AI, were we? But we were still m managing to make amazing photography with much, um, you know, without having to click. I mean, a lot of it's time saving. It depends on how much control you want to have. Now, I'm going to show you one last thing. If you really, you know, uh, don't want to use um, those apps and you're, you know, it's not, you're not doing it professionally, but maybe you are, but you, you just want the maximum control you can have over an image. And basically it, you have a lot of time in your hands because I gave up, what happened with me was I gave up sort of using all of them because I started to use doing to resolve to do the color grading.